Hi guys! Today I'm going to show you how to import bookmarks that you already have into TagPacker. I'm going to start by explaining how to export your bookmarks from your browser into an HTML file that you can then import into TagPacker. I will also show you a couple of tips and tricks regarding that and how to delete a number of links at once in case you don't want to keep them on your profile after all. So how do you start? I've made two sample folders here. I collected a bunch of recipes and I have also collected a bunch of links on blogging that I want to import into my TagPacker PR account here. First, I'm going to export the HTML file. I'm going to click on the browser menu. I'm going to go to bookmarks. From here, I'm going to go to the bookmark manager and then I'm looking at this little organized drop-down menu here and I'm gonna go down until I find export bookmarks to HTML file. So that's gonna export both my recipes and my blogging links. I'm gonna export it now. This is the file that it's gonna give me. I can rename it if I want to. And I wanna save it on my desktop and save. So now you've completed the first step. Now, how do I import them into my TagPacker profile? For that, you go onto the very similar looking TagPacker menu here and select import. It's gonna give you this little speech here and you do wanna upload the file. I'm gonna find my HTML file here and upload it. TagPacker will tell you that the import was successful. First, TagPacker assigns an automatic bookmarks bar tag, as well as a tag that is named after the folder where it derived the links from. So in my case, I do have a bunch of blogging links, and if I scroll down, I have a bunch of recipes links. Like TagPacker said, it might take a while for the images to appear. One thing you might want to do when we're looking at the recipe tag here, for example, you notice that if in the future you would like to sort your recipes, rather than calling it recipes, you're actually looking at a singular recipe, right? So if you want, you can rename that tag and call it recipe, and then actually move it into your link type pack or tag pack, okay? Another thing you might have noticed is that as soon as you select a tag, you will get this little menu here. And that is actually very interesting. In case you made a mistake, you can not only untag these links, you could also delete them altogether or tag these links with um, another tag that you might find suitable. Another thing you might be interested to know is that if you import files from other services like Delicious, all the tags will remain intact, okay? And that's how you import links. And as per usual, we'd really like to hear from you via either the feedback button here, or you can always email me at pr at tagpacker.com. Thank you very much, and see you soon on TagPacker.